As you may know from my previous videos that I believe that the first seal of Revelation has already been opened, indicating that we've entered into the time of the end in the last generation. I also believe that we're at the point where the second seal may be opened very soon. In this presentation I'd like to emphasize that prophecy is history written in advance. Everything it says will happen just the way it says. It's also written for the benefit of God's people. Now this point in this presentation is perhaps the most important point I want to make. And that is that in the Word of God, God, who is Yahweh, says that we can read and understand the Word of God. In other words, His people can read and understand it. It doesn't require a biblical scholar, a great philosopher, or somebody special. As a matter of fact, the Bible is written for the common man, for the people of God. So if we can accept what the Bible says, that prophecy is history written in advance, and that the Bible can be read and understood by the people of God, then this is what we need to be taking to heart. Revelation 6.4 is the second seal and it has a rider on a red horse which is a leader from the Middle East and he will be given power to take peace from the earth and he will be given a great battle. We need to take this to heart now. Now a lot of the press is talking about how is Israel going to attack Iran or is the United States going to attack Iran. The Bible indicates that neither Israel nor the United States will attack Iran. What will happen is something that will cause Iran or some other Middle Eastern power to attack the United States for example and win a great battle. This will start World War III. The list below is some chatter that I've picked up on through various news and blog sources on the internet, but unfortunately a lot of this is not coming across in the major media or the major news channels. But let me read from the bottom up, the oldest, back in the first part of June. Iran may have advanced nuclear weapons designs. Israel rehearses possible attack on Iran. Congressional resolution declaring war with Iran. Pentagon making case against Iran. Strike on Iran could turn the Middle East into a ball of fire. Iran ready for U.S. war resolution. Dangerous resolution flying through Congress. Israel prods Americans into war with Iran. Iran expands threat to Strait of Hormuz. Ron Paul, confrontation with Iran now inevitable. Iran stages war games. U.S. holds Navy exercises. We need to be paying attention to what's going on. These certainly are some strange times and circumstances. It's hard to imagine that this situation could lead to World War III. But the Bible is clear that the second seal will lead to peace being taken from the earth. The current situation with Iran and the U.S. certainly seems to be setting the stage for such a possibility that we see prophesied in the Bible. The Bible has the answers. We need to be reading the Bible. Once again, this is what I'm seeing written in Revelation 6-4 about the second seal and the rider on the red horse. I find that the red horses have been assigned to the Middle East or east of Israel. So a Middle Eastern leader was given power to take peace from the earth. This would be World War. And he was given a great battle. Now in a lot of English translations it says he was given a large sword, but this really better translates into a great battle. Now another thing I'd like to point out here is if I happen to be correct in my speculation and interpretation about this current situation facing, don't get the idea that Richard Perry is some kind of prophet. No, I believe the Bible and I believe what it says is true. I can read the Bible and over the years I've put various things together and I can see what is being described 
in biblical prophecy about the time of the end and the return of the Messiah called the Christ.